from up above. Yes, eyes in the sky. That's basically what did Eric Smith in. And when he thought he was in the clear, police swooped in. He tried to run from police, but didn't realize there were eyes on him from above. This morning, our, our uh, aircraft uh, spotted a vehicle uh, traveling in excess of the speed limit. Uh, they radioed to the ground units uh, for them to stop that vehicle. But according to police, 29-year-old Eric Smith decided to speed off before the trooper could walk over to his car. He is now facing multiple charges after he led police on a high-speed chase on the interstate and into the town of Hooksett. As the vehicle exited exit 11 off ramp uh, in Hooksett, the trooper d uh, decided to back off and, and to, uh, to, to basically terminate the pursuit uh, because of the, the speeds of the vehicle. The blue lights may have disappeared, but little did Smith know he was still being watched. The plane can fly uh, free of ease uh, safely. He can monitor. Uh, they can monitor the direction of the vehicle, uh, and certainly they can radio this step by step as we follow that vehicle. And those in the plane watched as Smith hit another car near the hooks at transfer station, and then continued into the market basket parking lot. Everyone got out. Smith, a woman, and two children. They went inside the store. The male party who we have arrested uh, for driving the vehicle. Um, he he was actually had started to walk away from the market basket, kind of leaving the other part of his his uh, the occupants in the vehicle uh, at the market basket uh, supermarket. So he was placed in the custody at a different location. And he's also a fugitive from justice. Smith was convicted of aggravated assault in Oxford County, Maine, and after serving prison time, he was released and failed to tell his probation officer he was moving. He's been wanted ever since. Now he's behind bars taking what police consider a dangerous man off the streets. Now, Eric Smith was the only one taken into custody, and police say the woman who was with him is the mother of the two children. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9. All right.